It was not an ideal summer to be running an irrigation trial. I mean, good farming, but at least we've got a really good baseline of where we want to be heading into next season. We basically want to learn how much water we use for that day and how many hectares we've irrigated. Also, what our pasture growth rate is and basically how many tonnes per hectare we can actually take off this paddock. Towards the end of summer, beginning of autumn, we had a day out at the trial block with balance and with car fields and we got some pasture samples. So it was actually a bit of a family affair and we mowed five consistent strips, so same length, same width of pasture for some analysis, so sort of breaking it down, looking at our yield and tonnage per hectare, dry matter content and approximate covering kilos of dry matter per hectare. So what that's going to do is give us a nice baseline moving forwards into the following season. The unique benefit of SDI moving forwards as an irrigation system is the control. The precision of the control, so you can be irrigating one paddock over here accurately and you don't have to have the system going on that paddock. So you are utilising your water only as much as you need it and where you need it. You're irrigating to data, not irrigating to what your eye can see. What we can see from SDI being used in numerous other countries is that you get an overall high yield, you're irrigating really precisely and you're irrigating obviously at the level of the root. And because it's subsurface, you get a stable growth in any climate. Because it's under the ground, you're not affected by, by you know, excessive you know, dry winds and, and hot sun, etc. So therefore overall, because you've got a better stable growth, you get a better quality of that plant as well. Higher sugars in the plant, like if you've invested in high quality seed, you're going to get optimal production out of that plant. And because we are installing it, you can irrigate easily sort of more oddly shaped paddocks. It's basically ready to go, you know, it's very maintenance free. We'll go to flush out at the end of the season, so um, we'll just be basically monitoring our moisture probes and when that indicates that we need to irrigate, we'll flick the switch and away we'll go.